Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at Destruction Tools which is a collection of different Blender editing tools to help you add destruction to any object or any mesh you have. Uh, you can see this is the download page and uh, it contains a few tools like the crack tool to just simply add cracks and uh, the damage tool to add damage like that, rebar to, to add internal structure, there's also a wire mesh and uh, this extra debris uh, pile up and scatter tool and lots of other tools these are also usable in other programs uh, so for example you can texture what you make in substance painter or any other application so let's jump in and see how uh, to use it i have this uh, building here as as, a, as an example and you can see this is just a collection of geometry nodes based tools and uh, most of them are just tools that you use directly within edit mode or object mode for example uh, let's say I want to add a crack onto this mesh I can go into edit mode and you can see up here I'm able to access all the tools I need uh, so let's try the crack tool hold on shift right click to add a 3d cursor anywhere on your mesh so that to indicate where the crack is going to be added and then you can go under this menu here and then add a crack you can also right click and add to quick favorites so that you can access that menu by using q to access the quick favorites so let's add a crack there now if you're not seeing the crack for some reason whenever you're using the tool a blender continuously refreshes the asset browser so i'm just going to first switch to the shader editor so that i don't see that and uh, now yeah, if you're not seeing the crack you can turn on preview cutter to see where the crack is going to be added and uh, i'm just going to turn off some of the random rotation and i'm going to now position this where i want the crack to be and uh, now i can bring in the random rotation i want something like that you can scale the cutter down a bit and now you can reposition it as you want now you can turn off the preview and uh, you can see the crack is there you can even increase the size of the crack just like that uh, you can add more resolution or more subdivisions to bend to, to have the crack look more bent yeah let's say something like that i, I don't want the, the offset to be too big so i'm just going to bring that somewhere like that you can make the crack even more interesting by just selecting any of the vertices and pushing them down like that you can turn on proportion editing with connected on so that you can make a larger crack uh, like that then q add damage again if you're not seeing the damage uh, it's here but if you're not seeing it you can turn on previews so that you see where the damage is and uh, we can just also move this and uh, let's increase the uniform scale to something like five and reduce the noise size 2.5 let's say 2 now if you want to create UVs because this damage is already selected you can use U to unwrap this and then go to UV seams from from islands so that you can easily create a seam and UV unwrap this now you can see now what we have is textured and the inside damage is using a material called uh, PBR inside uh, if you want to edit that you can always go to the shader editor and make changes to that uh, even switch out the materials uh, switch out the textures if you want now I can add things like a rebar or a wire mesh or wire grid by just clicking that and you can see everything seems a bit random right now uh, now I'm going to turn off gravity for now and uh, now the rotation is a bit off you have these rotation options I uh, have rotation one and rotation two uh, for the different for the different orientation of the bar. You can play around with different rotations. See if you get ninety, and now yeah, we we are getting th that crisscrossing wire mesh. It's a bit too much, so I'm going to set to five. Sometimes, depending on the normal direction of your mesh, you may not see anything. So try turning on in intersect at see if you see something. I'm going to also reduce the size of the noise. Yeah, something like that and reduce the strength to point two. Yeah, something like that. You can play with the length just a bit to have more detail. And then let me bring the density down to you can always turn off overlays so that you see how this is going to look without any selections. And uh, now we can see how this will turn out. And I think I like that. Now, what I don't like is these bars that are going through the mesh 
uh, there is this squash setting you just have to look at the axis so i can squash this in the y axis so that we get rid of uh, i think that's going to be a different axis yeah the x-axis uh, i can also increase the radius to make the river a bit more thicker uh, increase maybe the resolution of the river as well and uh, these extra pieces can be just deleted by hand the tool also selects edges that would be uv's for me so i can after i'm done with the selection with what with the tool i can just use ctrl e maxim so that the selection becomes my new uvs that's going to be very very useful when i try to export this to a different application or if i want to look at my textures now this this riba uses a riba material that you can again edit maybe change the texture if you want to uh but uh yeah because we haven't set up our uvs i see we don't really see the texture so i'm going to control l i'm going to use control l to select everything and then unwrap because we have already set up our uvs uh, this makes it very very easy for us now we can also add extra debris I'm just going to go in here in the materials and select uh, the riba. Uh, we can add extra debris. Again, it's another tool that you find in, in here. So if I add that, you, we get these pebbles that are, that are on uh, the riba or any mesh you have selected. I'm going to increase the density to 50 uh, so that we have more of them. And again, you can turn off uh, the overlays so that you can see how those are going to look and again these all need to be set up for uvs for the materials to look correctly and good enough the tool also selects that says that would be uvs for for you so i'm going to use ctrl e maxim and then ctrl l to select that and then now those also get uvs just like that i might also want some detail on this mesh here so i'm going to select one face here ctrl l and that will select my damage mesh because it's a single uv and i can first hide everything else for now and again and see now that is also showing up in the so we have added a crack we have added riba it's a lot of details you can do so and uh, you can see the different examples i have uh, there is also this debris scatter uh, that's a geometry nodes instance site if you have debris you want to scatter you can just use this so i'm just going to duplicate this uh, you can always find it in the in the asset browser asset browser here is this pilar in the project file you get you will see that uh, in the destruction tools blend file you see an example where i made an entire destroyed building uh, using these tools you can see here and uh, let me show you how you can make a piece like this uh here is an example where i I exported, uh, exported it out and textured it using some sense painter. Uh, that's also possible. I uh, just wanted to show you that. So let's try creating a collapsed piece like this. And uh, before I even do that, let me show you something cool here uh, that I had not shown. Uh, if you are in object mode of any mesh, you can go under the tool and use the debris scatter tool. This can scatter different debris on top of the mesh. So you can use the pile up option uh, let's just increase the density to something like 50 and scale up the pile debris on top of other meshes just like that and you can see it's it just seems like it ac it's actually piled up on top of this and uh, you can increase uh, you can preview the distribution by just turning on the preview di distribution you can uh, change the maximum height or anything like that and uh, you can see now uh, that's a lot of pile uh, let's bring this down to a bit there uh, yeah uh, if you don't want to just pile debris you can just scatter as uh, things directly onto the mesh you just have to bring the scale down to zero and that will and this will scatter everything directly onto the surface just like that and i think this is a really an amazing tool for adding details so this is the original so i can replace that just going to with this and you can see now this makes this look more detailed now let's try to make something like this here using the crack tool so i'm going to go into edit mode add my cursor there and use q crack and that will add a crack there i can use the random rotation play with this to get a random rotation
So yeah, you can see how you can how you can easily create well perfectly how you can create destroyed buildings in a matter of minutes. So yeah, if you want to check this out, all links are going to be in the description. You can get it on my Gumroad page, Patreon, and my and Patreon and Blender Market. Thank you. See you in the next video.